three sleeps away now, of course, from the first test of the Gabba. It has been a massive build-up for this first Jeez. Ashes series. Dowdy in cage, Horrocks out. Good decision, bad decision. Well, it's interesting. Uh, he, he's dead stiff, Nathan Horrocks. Look, I, I'd be the first to admit uh, that his form in recent times hasn't been good, but we're judging him, obviously, on what happened or what didn't happen in India. Now, the best of off spinners can go to India, who are who are sort of the, 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 the best players of spin in the world and not do well. He's a bit stiff. Look, it, it's a huge gamble by the selectors. I thought they would have gone with, with, with Horrocks. Gone with the experienced uh, uh, players first up. Good luck to young Dowdy. He's, uh, he's, he's obviously shown uh, something that the selectors like. But having said that, there's no doubt in my mind that Ponning has, uh, has said, I want Dowdy. All right. I want Dowdy. So if Ponning said it and they don't win, then Ponning's under a bit of fire. Well, now, uh, Greg Matthews has come out in defence, of course, of Horrocks, yep. saying that he thinks some of the batsmen might want to consider themselves very, very lucky considering what's happened to Horrocks. Is he right? Well, he probably is because, as we've been saying for weeks and weeks now, that the conjecture about the makeup of this first test side for Australia has been enormous. Like, has to get to 100 right, right at the death knock. North, is he lucky to be there? To, to a degree, yes. Will they play North or will they play Smith batting at number six? That's still to be answered. So, look, whichever way you look at it, Nathan Horrocks is dead set stiff. There's, there's no doubt about that. Like, he, he can't make the 13. Like, he was in our, our test side just a two weeks ago. Now he can't make the top 13. It's a tough call, the young man. And, and the fact that they named 17 players last Monday, there's been all this drama, and I just feel sorry for Nathan Horrocks. All right, where's Michael Clark in all this cage? He hasn't picked a bat up in nearly two weeks since the last Sheffield Shield game. Came, but he came in at number eight in the second innings, yeah, and okay. I think he made 38 or 39 to get New South Wales yeah. the win. The fact that he hasn't picked a bat up for two weeks, he arrived today, yep. still looks sore. I mean, is there some concern he may oh, not play look, on Thursday? Well, look, there had to be some concern when a batsman's got a, got a crook back and he's had it for quite some time now. But look, knowing Michael Clark, I, I think he'll play. How big a disadvantage is it to Michael Clark? He's a very important player in that Australian side. And going into this first test, Australia would not want to go in there with underprepared players. If Clark is not good enough, I then play somebody who's 100% fit. This is an absolutely critical test match. I think Clark will play. All right, let's have a look at Saturday night here in South Australia, Cage. A magnificent night for the South Australian oh, Hall of Fame. Over 600 people yeah, at the Entertainment Centre. Yes, thanks, Cage. There were a lot of great athletes there. 20 inductees. Yeah. Sir Donald Bradman, elevated to legend and status. Bart and Bart Cummings. Couldn't get off to a better start with two legends, could you? No, you, you, you couldn't, gentlemen. They were the two standouts. If you talk about um, making uh, sportsmen's legends, they, they were the two standouts. But I, I think the overall concept is, is the big winner, whereby we, we are, are at long last with recognising people like yourself and South Australians who have achieved so much in the world of sport. And I, I applaud the people behind the idea. By all reports, the night was a, was a magnificent night, complete sellout. And I just hope now that what Rob Gerrard said, one of the, one of the uh, committee men said that he now wants to find a home for the SA Sporting Hall of Fame somewhere on North Terrace. Now, great concept and a long time over. It is, Cage. And now they have to keep the momentum going. Now, Mark Good. Ralston was spectacular in the way right. she, she yeah, drove it from the lady. start, got Rob Gerrard yeah. involved, and then everything unfolded like yeah. a big umbrella under that. But they do need to have somewhere in South Australia now. So it is the pinnacle. Oh, no for those doubt. people. And again, Rob Gerard touched on it, Coach. 300,000 people yep. visit the museum in Melbourne. Yep. If we could get 30, 10% of that, that's 30,000 visitors to South Australia just to have a look through South Australia's Hall of Fame. Well, we, 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 when you look at the 20 inductees on Saturday night, some of the, the greatest sportsmen, not just in South Australia, but in, in Australia. And they, they deserve to be recognised as they were on Saturday night. And uh, I'd, look, I'd love to see a home on North Coast. I'd go there, have a bow peep, and look at what you've done. With what uh, Juliet has, uh, has done. Hey, wonderful for South Australian sport. All right, I'll tell you one story what, from the night, Cage, what, that what wasn't happened? shared. Lisa Rondiki, I'm having a chat with Lisa. No, she was runner. at the Institute when I was there, so we're playing a bit of catch up. She lives in Arizona now. Yeah. I said, How are you enjoying living in Arizona? She said, oh, I really love it. She said, The only thing is, I go out on the balcony some nights and I have to kill a rattlesnake. So, Sorry? Just to kill a rattlesnake. So she said, a, a I've got one. a real one. She said, she's killed five this summer oh. out on the balcony. I said, oh, how do you know? So you walk out and you can hear the rattle. She said, I get the cutter. I'm not sure what a cutter is. And she said, then I kill the rattlesnake. I said, that's it for me. I won't be visiting you in Arizona. You know what? I'd be on the first Qantas plane back to Australia. <laughs> Killing rattlesnakes. And Cage, you know I am the fashion guru. 
Dean Lucan's white suit. Next time I see Dean, what? I saw him on the night. He actually just had some surgery on his back, so he did well to be there. And full credit to Mark Woodford and All Lisa on Dicky. Both flew in yeah. for the United States show. How important it was for them well, in South Australia. It just, so. it just proves, doesn't it, that, that it's a long time overdue and thoroughly deserved. Yep, and it was a spectacular night, well Coach. Done. Well done.